Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to do a quick software review of the TechLast P50AI Android 15 tablet. So I connected a USB-C hub, so I have video out. And I also connected Ethernet. And yeah, with the USB-C hub, I can also uh, connect the mouse, a keyboard, and a PlayStation controller. So let's see with the settings. So you can see that we're running Android 15, March update. And yeah, I was actually a little bit surprised in a positive way that even with a budget tablet like this, it costs only like a little bit over 100 euros at the time of this video, and that it actually did get a software update. So yeah, hopefully they will continue doing this. And uh, yeah, who knows if uh, TechLast yeah, can really keep up uh, this behavior. So if we look at the specifications, um, it has the Allwinner A733, which has six efficiency cores, A55, and two performance cores, A76. And it has six gigabytes of physical memory. You can add like swap memory, but yeah, as long as you don't need it, then probably it's better not to use it. So yeah, 3D Mark. Well, I mean, this is really a budget tablet, so don't expect anything uh, to go very fast with this. So it has a performance which is close to a Raspberry Pi 5, something like that. So yeah, this is not really uh, suitable for playing uh, complex 3D games. But yeah, just to give you an idea of the performance, I'm showing you this benchmark. But I will also show you some other stuff after this that it is able to handle that better. So I think it will run it for 60 seconds. So we get a score of 465. And uh, hmm. it's not really scrolling with my mouse. Or at least with the scroll button so we'll just do it like this so we're in the bottom four percent but again it's not really a surprise when you have a tablet that costs only a bit over 100 euros now as i said i'm going to show you some stuff that it is able to handle better so for instance, WebGL Aquarium in Chrome. So we have around 500 fishes. And 
as sometimes it hits 50 frames per second something like that and if we go to 5000 fishes it's yeah sometimes hits 30 frames per second now these were some synthetic benchmarks so let's see for instance playstation 2 emulation and uh, i'm running with opengl because that gives on this tablet better performance than vulcan so yeah one of the moments is this text effect so you can see it has some frame drops not severe but yeah uh, at least with the raspberry pi 5 if you don't change the settings uh, you need to lower one of the settings uh, the raspberry pi 5 uh, it really chokes on it and it drops back to like one frame per second something like that So if we take God of War, so that God of War is like really too much for this tablet. So let's load a state. Have once been a champion of the gods. So this is the European version, it goes up to 50 frames per second. But you can see that it's really struggling. And if for instance we change it to Vulcan, then you can see that it will struggle even more. So with OpenGL, we were running at around 30 frames per second. And with Vulcan, it only goes up to like 20, 25 frames per second, something like that. So yeah, currently PlayStation 2 emulation, it's really pushing the limits. So yeah, one of the downsides of this tablet is uh, the low resolution. And um, there are some things that you can try to do. Um, so... so you can play around with the colors. Um, you can also set it to boost it. It's not a dramatic change, but uh, yeah, perhaps you can play around with it. And you can also play around with the contrast. And to make things a bit more readable, you can also play around with the font size, um, bold text or normal text. Uh, I activated high contrast text so yeah the the resolution of the screen is uh, is low but yeah for the price it's understandable um, but you can play around with some of the settings to try to make things more readable 
Now they call it uh, AI. Uh, I think they use AI for better contrast and those kind of things. Uh, but it is possible to run like a small large language model. Uh, sorry. This is stable diffusion, so I need to start Pocket Pal AI. So this is running locally, and I already downloaded one of the models, so now it's loading it into memory. So you can see that I'm using Llama 3.2, 3 billion parameters, quantized. So let's see. Mm, what is the highest mountain on Earth? So I think this is running on the CPU, not on the MPU. So, but I think for a tablet that costs a little bit over 100 euros, this is uh, an acceptable speed. So 2.27 tokens per second. Now, of course, with smaller models, then uh, it can get faster. And um, yeah, you can download. Um, at least. Uh, oh, yeah, you can download uh, models from uh, Hugging Face. But uh, yeah better to use only the uh, small models. Now, uh, this tablet, when you connect it to a monitor, then it also has a PC mode. So let's activate the PC mode. So this looks like a, more like a computer desktop. And let's see the stable diffusion. Where did it go? Oh, one further, yep. Stable diffusion. So let's make it full screen. Uh, I used uh, Dream Shaper. Well, it took around like half an hour, something like that. I didn't time it exactly, but uh, if you use like uh, 20 steps, then it's around half an hour to generate an image. So I'm not going to do that here, but I can show you the image that I generated earlier. So I asked for a penguin on a surfboard. And I think uh, this looks like a penguin on a surfboard. So all in all, um, yeah, I, th I think the TechLast P50 AI tablet is really good value for money. Um, so I think the only downside is, is that uh, it has a low resolution screen. But other than that, I'm um, positively surprised that it actually got a software update to the March uh, update of Android 15 um, video out is working 
Uh, it even has a PC desktop mode. So yeah, if, if you don't mind the low resolution, then I can really recommend this tablet. And yeah, if you prefer to have a higher resolution screen, then TechLast has models. Uh, I think the T60, something like that. Uh, but that one is also like 50 euros more expensive. So then the choice is up to you if you want to spend 50 euros for a better screen. So this is all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.